Hello Aries, this is your mid-July 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Aries, with all Aries individuals, so let's get this started. Aries, mid-July 2018, five card spread, Aries, mid-July 2018 reading, Aries. Do shuffle these prior, but I'm going to keep on shuffling. So... Hope all, your month has been good so far. See what's the beginning energy here. Coming out of flying under the radar. It's the Seven of Swords. It also could be finding out that someone did something sneaky, underhanded. You know, you may find out something that you just didn't see at first. But... Let's find out what the past is about. Past, maybe you didn't make very good judgment. You got the adjustment card here. It's like the justice card. It's in reverse. And maybe there was an injustice done to you. Let's find out. Why is the adjustment card there for Aries in the past? Unable to move on. In troubled waters, an injustice that you can't move on from in the past. That's the Six of Swords in reverse, by the way. You need another card for the adjustment and the Six of Swords, both in reverse. Could have something to do with finances. I'm getting a lot of that for the signs. It doesn't matter how much I shuffle these cards. Uh, the Ten of Coin has a lot to do with a lot of the Zodiac signs this, this month, mid-July and on. You do have Mercury and retrograde coming up towards the end of July, so it's gonna you're gonna start feeling a little bit of chaos. All everybody, or you'll be experience it yourself or through other people. It affects some people more than others, so depending on you have Mercury uh, Mercury retrograde in your own natal chart. That's another story, but let's get let's get going. Obstacle Aries obstacle. Queen of Disc. She's in reverse. That could be an obstacle. Could be an Earth sign or someone taking on the energy. As you know, that could be a Taurus. That could be a Capricorn. That could be a Virgo. Not necessarily in that order, but she's in reverse. Or he. Let's find out why. Queen of Disc. Why are you in reverse as the obstacle? Could that a clash with you? Queen of Wands, this could be your energy, as you know. It is a fire energy or taking on that energy, somebody. Somebody else, it could be a Leo, could be another Aries, could be a Sagittarius. But they are obstacles to you right now. One is maybe pinned against another. Seeing a lot of this. So why is the Queen of Wands there with the Queen of Disc in reverse? Now, someone doesn't want to argue. Someone doesn't want to allow someone to take advantage. I don't know why that's coming up, the word. Someone possibly taking advantage of somebody. They may feel that. We'll find out what's going on with the current environment with Aries. The current environment, Aries. What's the current environment with Aries? Success. Six of Pentacles in the upright. That's a good thing. Current environment. Some. Some of you Aries are having some success. Could be money, could be jo you know your job, home life, anything. Relationships. It could be anything, but a lot of times Pentacles has to do with stability and finances. Often, Six of Pentacles. Why are you there? No communication. You're having success. Maybe you're blocking some people. Maybe you're not answering people. Maybe you're just focused on success. It's like you're not taking messages. Some of you may not take a message from a certain individual because you're like focused on success. Can I get another card for the current environment for Aries, mid July on and on? Six of Pentacles. Slow moving energy, but it's a good one. 
could have to do with the Princess of Cups. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. She's in the upright. So you may be having just just communications with this one person or not erratic communications. When it, when this uh, the Eight of Wands is in reverse, it could be no communication or it could be that calm communication. It's not erratic. So maybe you're having success without, you know, arguing. I said what I'm going to say, you know, anymore. I pinch myself every time I say it. But yeah, this place, this, this, this Princess of Cups is going to help you with your success, or is currently is. Now it doesn't have to be a water sign; it could be just someone taking on energy. Now, what is coming towards you, outside environment, or what people are thinking of you? Victory coming your way could be people thinking that you're victorious, or victory is coming your way. Why is the Six of Wands coming your way? You're, you're coming, you possibly see a victory coming, but you also got the Two of Swords here, and the Two of Swords can mean peace. It can be a peace offering. People don't know that because you're, you're putting up your swords, or it could be on the negative side that you're you're blocking something, but you got a victory here. So I'm thinking peace is coming your way. It's a peace card also for the victory. Peace and victory. Can I get another card for the victory card and two of swords? I have to know more. May get have peace with the three of swords information or card. Three of cards. Three of swords is a sorrow card. A lot of sorrow cards. You got a lot of swords energy. They're both together. It could be that you're gaining victory or someone's gaining victory with you. And it could be the fact that for some of you, maybe some of you are putting one person away. Gaining a victory. Whatever it is. I gotta think a second. Because we got the three of swords, the two of swords. Peace offering could be over a third party situation. Maybe someone's not wanting to step out anymore. That's for just some of you. Could be also that someone chooses you over a certain situation. Could be that someone is no longer overindulging anymore, also, that's coming towards you. Or maybe they think that you put, other people are thinking you put all these things aside and gained a victory. That could be it. The outcome. The outcome for Aries. Coming out of feeling betrayed. So it could be that something's coming towards you that's offering a peace offering. And betrayal it would be put in the past. Ten of Swords. Why are you there? In reverse for Aries. That's the only time you want it in reverse, but I gotta see another card. It may not be, it may stay that way. Coming out of feeling burdened. You don't feel burdened, you don't feel oppressed. Sometimes when I get these together, it's the other way around, but let me keep on going. Ten, with all the victory and the success, I'm thinking you're coming out of feeling betrayed and oppressed. Can I get another card for the Ten of Swords and the Ten? of wands. You're not ending something. You're not going to begin something new. I'm thinking you're going to make up with somebody possibly also from the past maybe because you got the third party. You got a victory with it. I'm trying to make sense of this. With the Queen of Swords. I can keep on going, but you got a success with somebody, but you're coming out of room with somebody else, and it could be an air sign, it could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You may be coming out of a betrayal with the with the Queen of Swords, but the Queen of Swords is still turned around, just so you know. Or someone may want to come out of that with you, really, really come out of it with you. Let me see what's going on here. One more card for the Queen of Swords and uh, Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands and the Universe card, all in reverse. 
Someone's wanting to come out of something. The Prince of Disc. We're getting a lot of people here. Eight of Pentacles. It's in reverse. Gotta think a second. You're getting success. The current environment success. Victory is coming your way. You had success in the past, but I have a feeling, and I'm with, I'm, I gotta throw intuition with this. I have a feeling because you are very successful that people from the past that once betrayed you, that once gave you a burden that you thought was gone, that you thought was over, may come in back into your life because things may go start, start going positive for you and they want part of that. They want part of that life. And that's up to you whether you accept it, but you may not. Because you got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. That's not working with this. That's an overall ending energy. You're not going to work possibly with this. When it's over, it's over for you. And you're going to just go on with success. But people are going to start coming around, wanting to become out of, wanting to come out of betrayal with you, Aries. And that's it. That's what I'm feeling. And it was a hard read because there was a lot of information out here. But that is your reading. I will put it out as soon as I can. Bye.